Hello, I'm Mr. Conductor, and I'm going to tell you a story about trains, folks far apart, and the magic railroad that brought them together. Every story, like a railroad, has its heroes. Meet Thomas. He's our number one hero. But he's running a little late today. This is the island of Sodor, where Thomas and his friends live. It's at one end of my special universe. I like helping out here. By the invitation of Sir Topham Hat, of course. Five, six, seven, eight. Who do we appreciate? Practicing your numbers, Gordon. That's a good engine. I'm counting how many seconds late you are. <laughs> what does that sign say? Hmm. Sodor Railway. Really reliable and right on time. <laughs> Signed, head of the railway, Sir Topham Hat. But you weren't on time, little Tom. And you're being bossy, Gordon. <laughs> now, please excuse me. I'm meeting Mr. Conductor. He's looking after us while Sir Topham Hat takes a much-needed holiday. Oh, I think we can take care of ourselves. Get out of my way! <laughs> I have unfinished business here! And I want to finish it fast! The diesel ten's back! <laughs> yes, ten out of ten. Your devious deeds and brutal strength. The blast from the past, who hates steam engines. Maybe we do need Mr. Conductor here, after all. On time. At the other end of my universe, far away across oceans of time, up and over Muffle Mountain and hidden deep in a valley, is my hometown, Shining Time. And by the way, I think that you're going to help me and Thomas somewhere in this story. Diesel has unfinished business. They're sure to be trouble right around the corner. Sandal fly, boot fly, shoe fly, that's it. Better still, butt off. Botheration. You weren't concentrating, Thomas. Lucky for you that the buffers were there. That's what buffers are for, to stop engines from crashing. What are you doing in the sheds, James? I'm feeling a little blue, which isn't so hot when you're red. I was naughty and Sir Topham Hat told me to think about all the ways I could be really useful. Then I can come out again. He's just trying to make this a better railway for steam engines. Sir Topham Hat Thomas. says the harder we work, the less he'll need diesels to help. Help you? Huh? <laughs> oh, you'll always need help. Because steam engines are cowardly, cranky, worn-out hunks of metal who couldn't hurt a fly. No, we're not. Yes, you are. Art. Are. Now, I've come back to find a lost steam engine. What? I'm going to destroy her and dominate you. And then you'll be nothing but useless scrap. Right, Pidgey? Big fully. <laughs> We're really useful engines. You won't dominate us, and you won't destroy her. We won't let you. Neither will Mr. Conductor. I'm off to fetch him now. What lost engine? I didn't know that in Muffle Mountain there was a secret that Burnett had shared. This engine was vital to the magic that held these worlds together. But only Burnett knew that. You find I found the entrance to your workshop ages ago. I guess there was something mysterious about this mountain. Yeah. All mountains have their secrets, Patch. Shouldn't surprise a kid like you. Could I help you, Mr. Stone? Sure. You can help me dust her off. This engine's name is Lady. Why is she locked up? She isn't. 
She's safe from harm. Long ago, I made a mistake as Lady's caretaker. An evil diesel found Lady and threatened to destroy her. He chased her, used up all her coal. He made her go too fast. And then he crashed her. And I brought her here. I tried my best to fix her up. But I've never been able to make up for the mistake I made. And I've never been able to bring her to life to make her steam. All right, listen, you two, I, uh, I got a job for you, Sludge. Actually, it's, it's a splatter. <clears throat> and, and Dodge. But I ain't got time to say both names. Oh, oh, well. I've come back to find a steam. Ah, it's easy. Yeah, they're everywhere. Yeah, and it's not the one I want. She escaped me once before. As long as she exists, so do the others. But if she can be destroyed... Uh, destroyed? Did you say destroyed? Like hurt? Yeah, destroyed. Uh, there's one small problem there. Boss. Yeah, Mr. Conductor's coming, and he won't let you destroy. Yeah, he won't let you. No. I can do whatever I want. I'll get him, too. With pitch? <laughs> I hate it when you do that. <laughs> Far away, but you always seem to get here on time. Oh, Mr. Conductor, are you all right? Yes, but sometimes everything happens at once. I have to see Sir Topham Hat to get my orders right away. The journey from Shining Time keeps getting bumpier and bumpier. Does it? A big bully diesel attack, Mr. Conductor. You had better be careful. Sir Topham Hat warned me about diesel. Don't worry, Thomas. I'll go pop in and out with my sparkle wherever he goes and keep him in order. I hope. Old McDiesel had a plan. <laughs> and a pinch, pinch here, and a pinch, pinch there. Here, a pinch there, pinch. <laughs> I cracked myself. Far away on Sodor, the steam engines were confident oh, oh. and cheerful and determined not to be bullied by Diesel. Only James, who now felt really useful too, was complaining. Wobbly wheels, puffy pistons. Thomas, I should have collected Mr. Conductor. James is right, little Thomas. <laughs> Collecting Mr. Conductor is an important job, hmm? Important is big. James is a big engine, hmm? Ew. You, Thomas, are small. Small, 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 teeny, weeny, weeny. And I, I'm a big blue engine who knows everything. <laughs> Bossy sprockets. All that steam has gone to your funnel. Hey, there they are. We'll fix their wagons. I'm not good at that, you know. Me neither. What's important is to stand up on our own wheels to Diesel. Toby's right. Diesel knows that the lost engine in the legend really exists. What engine? What legend? Of an engine whose magic makes her more powerful than Diesel will ever be. That's why he wants to find her. Then we'd better find her first. Leave it to the big engines, Percy. Little engines can do big things, especially when they have nice blue paint like me. 